of course, I was a big How I Met Your Mother fan growing up. Oh, yeah. Probably get that all the time. I know it's How probably old like are you? What, what age you. did you find it? What age did it come to you? Because you're Ooh. younger than I am. Yeah. So when you guys started, 05, it was about, I was like six, seven years old. So I probably discovered yeah. it like as you guys were wrapping up. So I, right, I had to catch right. up. Right, right. It's so weird to me. Um, like, I will meet somebody, like a kid who's like 13, and they're like, yeah. oh my god, how I met your mother, I love it. I was like, you were not born, bro. Like, when we started the show, you were not in existence. I know. And that's that, so wild. That was like the one thing I kind of wanted to pick your brain about was yeah. the, 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 the series finale. So Oh yeah, tell me what you think. From tell the fan, so I personally think. loved it. I, I know there's a few well, of my buddies are, that I watched. You are, in the, you are not one of, you are the, the, the very few, one of the very few. I, that's what I was going to say. There was like a ton of mixed reactions yeah. for it. And like you being one of the stars of the show, like what, what did you think about it when you first got that script? Because like the final episode, to me, you guys could have done yeah. like 15 more seasons on that last oh, episode absolutely. alone. You know, it's... um. Nine years was, I think, enough. I mean, I think yeah. we were, we, first of all, we were, like, super lucky because you're, it's so rare. First of all, like, when you get that kind of a job, you think, we're going to shoot a pilot episode, which is the very first episode, and that'll be it. And yeah. then we were lucky enough to get, like, 13 more episodes, and then we were able to get, like, a full season. And then it just kind of kept going. So it is such a rare thing to... In that first season, we shot um, video of the kids responding about, oh, you know, you think you you love you you're into Robin or whatever it was, and I don't right. know, it's been a minute. Um, and we shot that in the first season, right? And then you cut to nine years later, and you're able to to air that, and you're able to like do that whole story with that bookend is very, very, very rare. Yeah. So quite honestly, I was so, I was so in it that I wasn't thinking about, um, I think what was happening in the final season is there was a lot of pressure about like, people can't find out about this. Right. There was a lot of like secrecy because you have to understand, like, our show was never, when we were doing it, it was never, like, a huge hit. So there was never, like, a demand for what's going to happen in spoilers. There was, like, no spoilers. We were able to, like, do our job and kind of just kind of go to work every day and, and people like the show. But um, that was the first season that we were very aware of scripts getting out right like ruining kind of the the show for for everybody and i think that's kind of what sped up the timeline like like having like that last episode where it was like and then this happened and then this happened and then this happened because i think they were so nervous about it leaking right um and obviously i don't know how they would have done it with all the information now or the or the, the general consensus now but um I mean, I think that their story was always like it was Robin and Ted and he's the one telling the story. Right. And so much time had passed and people became um, really uh, into other partnerships. And so I think it, it was it was strange for some people. I like to think and I, and I, I think I said this recently and, and people were very, it very much disagreed with me. But I think that when you watch it, you know, the way that the way that kids are watching it now, kids, they're not all children, but like right. people who are discovering it for the first time and they watch it from beginning to end, there is a bit more of a story. Like you're able to kind of still have that beginning of it where when we were all watching it live, it was like Robin and Barney central, right? Right. So it felt weird to then turn back to that. But I I think I've heard from people that that is the takeaway that they understand that that is the story of it from the beginning. I, that was right. very long-winded. I'm sorry. I was like, <laughs> that was a very long answer. It's all good. I mean, my, my second follow-up to that would be like your favorite storyline overall. Cause like, like you said, like uh, Ted ending up with Robin in the end, like I think that's what everybody kind of assumed, even though you were dubbed Aunt Robin after what the first episode, but still right. people kind of assumed right. that that's the way things were going to end. But what was your personal favorite storyline from that entire series? 
I mean, uh, on a selfish level, I love the Robin Sparkle stuff. Yeah. Because it was so weird. And it was so strange to be like, I think it was second season. I think it was. And they kind of came at me and they were like, we're thinking about (laughs) making Robin like a Canadian pop star from the 80s. (laughs) And I was like, what? (laughs) Like, okay. And then it all just kind of like came out and it all just kind of happened. And it was, became so beloved that it was just, and it was honestly, it was so much fun, like shooting because we, we shot three days. So we would shoot Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is by the way, the best job in the world. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> but because of that, because of this shooting a music video on top we shot like monday tuesday wednesday thursday and it was just kind of like magic to be like we're taking the whole day to shoot this silly music video it was just so strange and um and 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 joyful you know what i mean like it was just it was just really fun so i loved that i loved any time that they infused music into our show carter and craig who are the who are our creators they they were in a band. They were like in a college yeah. together, and they sing like the opening, the ba 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 ba. That's them. That's their band. Um, and so they always would like kind of infuse all of these cool. Like obviously Neil is an amazing, you know, he's a, he's oh, a yeah. Broadway musical theater actor, and 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 Josh is too. Um, but so there was there was that ability there anyway. Um, so. So I always loved the the episodes where they did that, that Robin Sparkles especially. Do you ever get people that just come up to you and just start blasting out, let's go to the mall? Because that's like a Not song. so much anymore. <laughs> I used to, like, every time I do a panel, it comes up. Um, but not so much anymore. It's kind of becoming a thing of the past, I guess. 